If you want to open packs to get players like this, visit my friends at G2A.com. Or if you just want to buy the players, visit my friends at JustFifaCoins.com. Use Nick at checkout on both websites for a discount. Links in the description. What's up, brothers? Welcome to a FIFA 16 squad builder video. What we're going to be doing today is building what I think is going to be my best starter squad. Now, there are a few cheeky choices in the team, and I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you agree with my starter squad? Do you think it's realistic? Do you think it's maybe too expensive? And of course, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to smash the like button. I'd appreciate it. And let's get into the squad. So I am going to start out with, of course, my famed, if you will, or, or at least my favorite formation from Ultimate Team 15, which is 433-3. Now, I'm going to start my squad or the, or the builder from the back forward. Now, I'm not going to go with my goalkeeper right away, but I'm going to show you guys the left back that I want to use. I'm hoping he isn't extinct. I know he won't be expensive. I'm just hoping he won't be extinct. Wendell looks like he's going to be an absolute peach, and I'm hoping a cheap peach. Now, moving over to the right back, I think you guys would have all guessed who I wanted to go with. The second I found that Diekmeyer was a gold I wanted to go with him. And again, I'm hoping he's going to be one to 2,000 coins after a few days on FIFA 16. So that's who we're going to be aiming for at right back. As for my center backs, I want to go with who I thought was the most overpowered silver in the game last year, Antonio Rudiger. If you look at his cards, and we can even have a quick look actually at his uh, card stats, his entire card stats, absolutely look fantastic for a non-rare 76 rated gold <laughs> now his strength aggression sprint speed all look fantastic but you can't look down his freaking slide tackling is great standing tackle marking heading interceptions is not the greatest but otherwise absolutely fantastic from there i wanted to partner him up with i think another insanely overpowered cdm in the game and his name is mr juan jesus where are you, buddy? There you are. He's a shiny gold. So I think along with Dikemeyer, he could be another player that may be a little bit expensive. But I'm hoping and betting that he's going to be, again, one to 2,000 coins max at the start of FIFA. Those two partnered together are going to be incredible. Juan Jesus got that beautiful left foot and those incredible stats. Of course, Rudiger's got the right foot on the right side. It's going to be awesome. And to link them up in goal, I'm going to use the man himself, Han Danovich. He looks like he's going to be a great card this year. And again, because of how many packs are going to be open at the start of the year... I don't think he's going to be too, too expensive. Now, from there, I want to go to my CDMs. This is going to surprise, I think, a few of you guys who I end up choosing with. And I actually chose these guys because of price more than anything. But I do think they look pretty decent. So, at right CDM, we're going to go with a gentleman by the name of Rogue. There it is. Great stats. I think he's got high, high work rates, which means he could be the Philip Lahm of last year. But I kind of like that in a CDM, in a dual CDM, where one CDM at least moves up and down the field quickly. I think he's got great card stats and he will be cheap. Now at left CDM is something that allows us to bring in a different league into the team and the gentleman that we're going to go with is not Fernandinho because I think he's going to be a little bit expensive to start off but Fernando. I think he's a good card medium high work rates. He'll be the more defensive minded CDM whereas Road is going to be pushing up the field. Now a card I'm very excited to use more because his skill move is so awesome and overpowered in the game. Yes, of course, Yannick Bolassi is the monster that I want to get at left wing. Again, he is low rated. And here's another talking point I'm sure for you guys in the comments. He may be a little bit more expensive than 1 to 2,000 coins, especially at the start of the game. But I do think for a starter squad, it's, it's pretty realistic to try and fit him in a team. Now, I'm assuming a lot of you guys know who I want to put at right wing. I've talked about him so much the second we found out his stats. This guy is incredible now i've only used him in the foot draft obviously against the ai but he's so good he exits out of skill moves incredibly well he's got a left foot i think he's got pretty decent work rates for a right winger he's gonna i think play off perfectly a balassi these two as left wingers and right wingers in terms of the cheaper options i think are the good choices however I know the comments are going crazy right now. I think this may be the one card that will be hard to get for a starter squad. I'm going to try and get him at the start of Ultimate Team. I'm going to spend a little bit of money on the game. Even in the poor man Road to Glory, I think after a few games, I'd be able to try and snipe one of these cards. I think it's possible. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And let's move to the central center mid. Now, this is probably going to give away who I want to use at striker, but I'm okay with that. Stéphane Cessignon has always been a strong card every year. Again, his work rate 
traits are great for a central center mid. I think he's got great physical as well. I actually don't know. Does he still have a five-star weak foot this year? Or have they changed it up? Oh my goodness, they've made it a three-star. Well, that's not the greatest, although four-star skill moves is something that I'll be okay to work with. Either way, I'm going to use them, and you're going to find out why. We gotta use the beast himself. Rondon looks just as good this year, if not better than last year. Especially considering, as far as I've seen, pace isn't really the be-all, end-all for strikers this year. That, along with, again, Rondon's in-game stats, I'm very, very excited. Four-star skills, four-star weak foot, 91 strength, 86 heading. Obviously, shot power finishing, positioning is great. Long shots is a little bit lower than I was expecting. Sprint speed, I think, is gonna be handy and overall is a great card I would never worry too much about this whole balance thing Zlatan's balance I think last year as well was in the 40s maybe even in the 50s everyone was saying he'd be a terrible card and you guys all know especially if you watch my streams how much work I did with Zlatan so don't worry too much about the balance and there's the end of the video boys so that's what I think is going to be my best starter FIFA 16 squad and ultimate team I'm thinking the team is going to cost anywhere from 12 to maybe 15 16 thousand coins which again is what, two rounds in the divisions? That's about it. If we get lucky, maybe in a foot draft run, we can get some good players from the packs as well. Let me know again in the comments down below what you think this squad is gonna cost and show me what squads you're planning on using at the start of FIFA 16. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!